Welcome to the Moist Tasman. I'm Sass, Jimmy's partner in crime, and today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY white oil. We have a lemon tree, it's amazing, but when we got here about a month ago, it was covered in black crap, which I'm reliably informed. Scale and black stuff, possibly aphids. I'm not really sure what it is, but it shouldn't be there. Let's hate things like oil and dishwashing liquid. So first I went to Bunnings, I spent about 15 bucks on a can of white oil. It did some stuff, but it wasn't moving as quickly as I wanted it to. And no one wants to go through like 15 bucks worth of stuff a week when you can do these for like not many monies. So to make your own white oil, you need oil, obviously. It doesn't really matter what kind, they say vegetable oil, but where you brown rice oil because that's what we've got and some dishwashing liquid. You also need a secure airtight jar to put it in and then to spray it on your tree you need a cool little pump bottle pressure sprayer like this which we picked up for like three bucks at shiploads. Shiploads is another amazing thing I'm gonna do a whole episode on it at some point it's great. So first of all you need one cup of oil. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, that noise is creepy. Yeah, that's about a cup. Pour that into your jar. Then you need a quarter cup of morning fresh, which makes a slightly less creepy noise. <laughs> Such green. Pour that in. That'll do. Then you pop your airtight container on. And give it a good shake. It'll go like this really nice mutant green colour. Now you have white oil. So this is a concentrate. Do not just pour this on a plant. It will burn and die. We don't want that. So ratio wise, you need one tablespoon of this for every liter of water. So, so this one is about a, what have we got? This is a two liter bottle and I usually fill it up a bit over halfway. So I'm gonna use about a tablespoon and a half. Pop that in your bottle and fill this one up with water. <laughs> Cold water, not hot water. Again, you don't want to burn your plants. fix our lemon tree so pretty much since the day after we got here first thing I did was start treating this so if you look this is a really good branch to show you it's just covered in this kind of black sooty crap pretty much I'm told damages roots and potentially some of the lemons although I pick these and just give them a good wash and they seem to be okay um, but obviously we would like this to be fruiting lemons for many 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 years so I have my magical white oil mix and this relatively idiot proof pressure sprayer. So to spray it, you've just got to put some pressure into it. So give it a few decent pumps. It'll usually start getting pretty hard when it's done. And then you literally just fire. I feel like I'm some kind of plant superhero or something, but basically, with this stuff you just want to make sure that you drench the whole plant so I tend to kind of start at the top and work my way down and you want to get both sides of the branches and both sides of the leaves so that's what we do so every five days as long as you've got good weather it's not too windy and it's not raining spray the hell out of it 
and like a one and a half litre to two litre bottle will easily do a tree like this. So I can probably walk around this tree twice. So one of the other things you really want to do is make sure if you can get in there with the camera, you can, but um, right in where that root structure is. There is an old bird nest in here somewhere, but you want to kill off all the really old stuff that's coming out and impacting your new growth. So yeah, I just give the inner part of the tree a really good drench. And then once this is finished doing its amazing fruiting for the year, I'm gonna chop this back. You won't recognize it for a few months, but it'll give the tree a chance to hopefully regenerate stronger. So yeah, this pump bottle, I love it. I know a lot of people prefer those like weed things that you can carry around on your back, but they give me the shits, frankly. They're annoying, you've got to bend over to pump it. I just, I don't like them. Yeah! Um, a lot of people might find this boring. I find it a very relaxing way to finish my day. And since we've been here, like all of this stuff is new. This has all happened since we've moved. So it tells me that what we're doing or what I'm doing here is working. I gotta move around to spoil you. There we go. So yeah, like there's new growth that's coming off these old branches, but some of these are just beyond repair. So they'll all get chopped back in a couple of months once she's finished fruiting. Yes. Now I think I mentioned before you can buy white oil at Bunnings in a spray bottle. I just didn't really want to spend 15 bucks every time I needed to spray it and it only lasted for about a week and a half. So it kind of becomes a pretty expensive exercise. Just keep walking around. That noise means that she's running out of steam, but I will get every last drop. And then just to make sure we're good. Open up. There we go. I just like to tip the last little dregs in. So that is how I look after our lemon tree. We also, separate to this piece, I also throw in, I've got some, um, is it Osmocote citrus that I just chuck in every few weeks just under here, just to give it a bit of love. And then once I've chopped it back, we'll probably remulch this whole area, put a whole bunch of blood and bone and stuff in it just to give it a bit of love, because I don't think it's had any for a while. So that is white oiling your lemon tree. Bye!